This week on Raiders Talk of the Nation, I'm getting out the studio to square off with a champ. First rule of fighting, listen. First rule of fighting, chin down, hands up. And I catch up with Las Vegas Aces royalty. It's our personality, it's what we put together in our locker, making sure that we're happy when we come to work uh, because if you're feeling good, you're gonna play good and that's what, that's what matters the most. Don't go anywhere, Raiders Talk of the Nation starts right now. What's up guys, it's Brad Tavares and you're watching Raiders Talk of the Nation. It's going down this week, Raider Nation. I'm Sibley Scholes, and if you've caught the show, you know I would do anything for my Raiders. And this week is no different. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a bit, but as the Raiders continue their stretch on the road, they're unpacking a newfound confidence. And the Raiders aren't the only ones bringing style to the city. Our very own Las Vegas Aces, better known as the 2022 WNBA champs, have redefined having a winning style on the court and in the community. Asia Wilson has been one of the most dominant women in basketball. I caught up with a two-time WNBA MVP who makes winning look easy. All right, we're here. You guys are shooting around. Yeah. Tell me how this came about when we're doing these half court shots where we're running because you came at me as soon as I, <laughs> I walked into the arena. We just always shoot half court shots to see who makes it and then if you win, you get a prize from Becky. Um, and so you always want that prize no matter yes. what. So uh, I get super excited. We gotta talk the fashion. Are we styling ourselves? Do we have stylists? Mm -hmm. How much fun are we having putting yes. on those those looks and getting down through that tunnel? It's a lot of fun actually. Uh, Sydney's girlfriend, Maddie, is actually okay. my stylist. Yeah, she's putting all together all the looks uh, at an affordable price, which is what I love. We like that. We like saving. I love a good, I love a good saving. Um, I am a penny pincher. <laughs> so, um, we all are. Yeah. So she just puts things together. Sometimes I just throw kind of things in there from my closet. Um, but no, it's been a lot of fun. And I think fashion, it showcases our personalities within the league. And you get to see a little bit of everything from everybody. So I love it. Even though my boots hurt my feet at the end of the game, it's always cute when you enter. So that's it's all that matters. It's worth it. Fashion hurts. Beauty is pain. Okay. Yeah. Are you coming to the Raiders games? Come on now. Okay. Come on now. You heard it. That's it. I don't, I don't want to get in trouble. The coolest thing I think about following the Aces, uh, beyond, by the way, congratulations on all the success. Yeah, I was on that double decker bus with yeah, a lot yeah, of you guys yeah. last season. Yeah. Going into this season, how much fun do you have? I think you smile. You can't help but smile when you turn on any video yeah, you guys, yeah. anytime you're logged on to Instagrams. What uh, is it about this team? I mean, it's just us. It's our personality. It's what we put together in our locker, making sure that we're happy when we come to work. Uh, because if you're feeling good, you're going to play good. And that's what that's what matters the most. But yeah. I think a lot of people may see us on social be like, oh, is it for the camera? It's real. Like, if you come and just spend a day with us, you're going to be like, oh, no. And like, y'all have fun. And that's what it's all about. We coming to work every single day, of course, wanting to win and wanting to work hard, but at the same time, you can't lose the fun in that. This is no, a game at yeah. the end of the day, and I think we do a great job of showing that. And I saw Steph yeah. came through, yeah. that champ yeah. as well, and Aisha, him yeah. coming out to support you guys. What is that that emotion? It's super cool. I mean, that's the equal respect that we always show, like our fan bases or anyone, like we respect each other uh, yes. from a brotherhood, sisterhood standpoint. And it's just a joy when the guys come out and support us. It, it's. It's not like, oh my God, it's kind of like, yeah, like this is what they want to do. It's a, it's a lot of fun just supporting them and also uh, them supporting us. It's, yeah, it's, it's a cool. great, it's a great thing to see. It's good to see. Okay, yeah. the hashtag last season was all in. Yeah. I believe this season is raise the stakes. Yes. How will we raise the stakes now yeah. to try to get back to that chip, to try to get the, you know, the accolades? Man, I guess we just got to keep doing what we've been doing. We can't change up things. Uh, it's gotten us far. Uh, so why not? You don't, you don't want to fix something that's not broken. Right. Uh, but defending a championship is super, super hard. This year is going to be 10 times harder than it was last year. And last year was hard. 
Uh, but I think Becky has put us in the mindset of understanding that and yeah. knowing that we didn't come this far just to leave us this far. So we're going to keep pushing, um, having fun while doing it, and uh, always just enjoying the moments. The bell is going off as I face off against one of the biggest names in UFC. It's a marathon, not a sprint. You know, we got a long season ahead of us. We're fighting. The thing you got to really do is take care of your body. How Brad Tavares fought with a heavy heart for his homeland. You know, it's going to be an uphill battle. Uh, what they went through is just complete devastation. It's all coming up on Raiders Talk of the Nation next. Raiders Talk of the Nation has been brought to you by Allegiant Air, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Powered by Cox, a proud partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Just the Beanbag Boys, we're just hanging out, dude. What are all these cameras doing here? I don't eat before the games, don't eat a single thing. And then every single every single game, I have to walk a lap around the field, doesn't matter what stadiums, I have to walk a lap around the field, listening to the saw fam. It gets me like in like a mood to like go out there and just beat the crap out of people. I gotta play the same song. It's like it's a list of songs and I gotta play them. Play the title. Untitled playlist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I really tried on that one too. Yeah, I take a I take a selfie with my dad every game day. I've talked about that a couple times before, but we started doing it uh, my senior year of high school. I played in this like little Georgia Florida All Star game, and we took a selfie before just because that was like when the selfie like first came out. That was like. Everybody was taking selfies. Like it was pre-selfie stick. That's how long ago it was. It just kind of became a thing. So uh, he d made it to every game um, that I played in in college, and then he made it to every game my rookie year. And then COVID happened, so we didn't have fans. So we started doing like a little FaceTime selfie. Uh, something I've been doing recently is like in home games, we'll come to the facility and check in, and then I'll go home, and my wife will make me a bagel, with cream cheese, and an orange. No superstitions. I'm not stitious at all. I purposely don't have any superstitions because I used to. I used to have to like lay out everything like that and then one time I didn't and it got in my head. So I'm like, I purposely want to make sure I don't need a certain meal. I don't need to wear certain clothes just in case I don't have that and I don't have to think about that as a reason to not play well. So purposeful, non-superstitious. So as you just heard, it can be a special meal or a special song, but all athletes have their very own way of getting their head in the game. And the same is true of fighters. With the second most wins in UFC middleweight history, Brad Tavares is a beast in the octagon. But that didn't stop me from going one-on-one -on -one with him to talk about his love for the Raiders and for his family. Raider Nation in the building. We're in the gym. It smells like people really get yep. down up right here. This is not all, one of all those. the feels, all yeah. the smells. This is a real gym. This is Welcome. a real gym. Thank you for having us. You know, this is my third season with with the Raiders here in Las Vegas, but lifelong fans. Yeah, this is my uh, 35th season <laughs> with the Raiders. It's feeling good, right? I will say this week, I'm feeling great. Feels good. I'm feeling great. When did you become a Raider fan? I kind of was born into it, you yeah. know, uh, being from Hawaii, we don't have any professional sports. So, I mean, I guess that's a cool thing. You can kind of choose who you want to ride with. Right. Um, but just grew up, you know, like my mom and a lot of my family members were uh, Raiders fans. And I just was, I, I just thought it was cool. You know, from like young memories, just seeing them, the colors. Do you remember uh, the first time you put on the, the logo? It was like right when my mom started letting me dress myself Gotcha. And uh, it was school pictures. She's like, oh, what do you want to wear? Of course, I threw on my it, Oakland. It was Oakland Raiders shirt. My Oakland Raiders shirt had my little boat, or it wasn't even a boat chain back then, but it was just like my little chain. And, you know, I still have my chain swag. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and that's how I took my picture. That's my, uh, like, probably like my earliest receipt, I should say. Um, rocking Raiders rocking gear. It. Yeah, fourth or fifth grade. It seems like generation to generation, families bring that to their kids. Yes. And now you're doing that with your family, yes. your wife, your little girls. Yep. Uh, one of them just was out at a preseason game, right? As, yep. as she, the uh, junior, junior Raiderettes. Raiderettes. Yep. 
You got a smile on your face yep. with that. She's also, is this the same daughter that's in jujitsu yep, as well? Yeah, she's out there on the mats right now. She is. Yes. Yeah. For her to see what her dad does, how supportive are you of her and her dreams? And what does she tell you she wants to do later? As far as being able to defend herself and right. protect herself, have that self-defense aspect of it that martial arts gives, 100%. I do want her to know how to fight and protect herself. Right. But that's not necessarily what I want her doing. Now, in the future, if something she wants to do, I I'm gonna support her, you know? I'm gonna try and steer her away from it, you know? We want, she wants to be a doctor and a reader it, so I'm oh, all that's for that. Good. Yeah, she loves, the she loves the Raiders too, so. You've had some great coaches over the years. Eric is one of them, yep. right, that you're working with. Um, talk to me about him and, and what he's showing you, how you've grown in that team and that camp, and also how much fun y'all have at the game <laughs> yeah. in the Winfield Club, because yep. I know it goes down over yep. there. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so, you know, Eric is a huge part of my, my success, yeah. huge part of my team, my life, all of it. You know, it, it goes so much past just coach student you know we're, we're like brothers you know he's like a big brother to me um has always looked out for me in that aspect and will help me in any way possible you know and and very unselfishly you know he like i, I appreciate all my coaches because when i do things they, they got to go away from their family you know so that they can put time into me right um, when we're on the road or even just here in the gym um, and Eric, the great thing, like another reason why we get along so well is because his love of sports, football being that, you know, like prior to us being here in this gym, our, our first love was football. Yeah. You know, like where I am now and being able to attend these games and take my family and he can take his family is it's pretty crazy. Maui, unfortunately, is going through so much right now. Yes. A lot of people are coming together. What have you noticed about Nevada and the Raiders organization and how much they've put towards giving back to Maui? And what have you noticed about the people in Maui right now and how things are, are going? You know, it's going to be an uphill battle. Uh, what they went through is just complete devastation, especially the people of Lahaina that were directly affected, that lost everything family members, pets, homes. You never think that you're gonna lose everything. And they did the Ninth Island um, and just the Hawaiian community came together in, in huge support. The Raiders, you know, they made their shirts to help yep. support them and donate. The UFC stepped up, did their thing. Um, so it, it's it's great when you can see like, it's not the Hawaii Raiders, you know what I mean? It, it's, it's the Las Vegas Raiders, but the Raiders, they know that, they know what the Ninth Island is and how they can represent and help. And they stepped up in a, in a big way. So me being a, a native of Hawaii and somebody that's deeply connected to all those people that are affected to see an organization that really didn't have to do what they did is, is special. It's very special. And it, it, it lets you know that humans are still good. Still to come. I would have to go a chili chicken mixed plate with some ranch and Tabasco. Plus, three, two, roll. Plop, plop, plop. There we go. Raiders Talk of the Nation will be back after this. This segment has been brought to you by Modelo, brewed with the highest quality ingredients for a taste that's pure gold. Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. I have to do something really quickly with you, a rapid fire. Okay. Are you ready for that? Yeah, let's go. Okay, favorite Raider now is? Max Crosby. Favorite Raider then? Charles Woodson. See, Wood. Yeah. Oh, okay, those are two great ones. That's easy. Zippies. Zippies. If you don't know Zippies, folks, go Google it. We'll be having one here in Las Vegas. It should be October 10th or 11th. I forget the exact date, but it's coming soon. What's your go-to order there? I would have to go a chili chicken mixed plate, side of fries with some ranch and Tabasco. Specifically for MMA, who would you say on the Raiders is a player that you could see making that transition? Max Crosby, let's go. You can tell. He has that, the mental fortitude for it and the heart for it as well. On top of that, he's super athletic. He has the size. And I always think that football players make the greatest crossover athletes to MMA. Yeah. Their strength, their power, explosiveness, and their footwork, you yeah. know, that really helps. Um, so definitely if somebody was gonna cross over, Max Crosby, but Max, just stay doing what you're doing. Yeah, stay with us it. for a little bit. 
Would you train with him or would you train him? Is there a possibility oh, that could happen? 100%. Yes. That's easily, yes. I guess Mad Max would be his name. I'm like, what would be his moniker? But yep. keep that, right? That's yep. good. Mad Max Crosby. There with we that go. wingspan that he's got. Exactly. It's the Condor. The Condor. Yeah. He could go either or. They could, they could say Mad Max, the Condor Crosby. I don't know. He could have two nicknames. He continues. And I see on you, you got a lot of ink yourself. Yeah. Not as much as I not got. Not as him. <laughs> I've asked him before. How many tattoos do you have? I don't know the exact amount of tattoos Oh, I you have. don't even know the I number. I have no clue. But I said, how many tattoos do you have? He doesn't even know the number. Yeah. That's how it's all just one collage and all this life. Does everyone go to the same artist out here? Majority of all my tattoos were done back home in Hawaii. Okay. But a few of them moved out here from Hawaii. Um, and then one of them, the one that did my leg, he actually lives in Georgia now. And the last time he worked on me was in 2018. He was out here doing like a guest appearance at a shop. So he let me know he's in town. I was like, bro, it's been 10 years since we worked on my leg. Let's get it. This leg piece, the initial yeah. vision of it was always full leg all the way up. I follow you on Instagram. Uh, so many people do. How much fun and why do you have that horn on your car, <laughs> your truck, and why are you scaring these two? <laughs> you know what is funny? Like when I'm on the road, like in traffic, a lot of times they don't even know where it came from. <laughs> like they assume but that it came from me because I have a big truck. But if if you're just packed in traffic, they don't like specifically know. Right. It's it, it's just because it's so loud. They're like, where did that come from? What horn is that? That's a horn blasters. Okay. Yeah. So the company is called Horn Blasters. So shout out Horn Blasters. They're one of my sponsors. Um, and yeah, I love that thing. I love scaring people with it. I get everybody. And the funniest thing is that my daughter, she loves to scare people with it. Oh, so she yeah. does her. Yeah, because I have it on she a remote. Yep. And she's like, Daddy, can we hork this guy? She calls it hork. Hork? Yeah, hork. <laughs> she's just like you. Yep. Before we get out of here and you show me what goes on in the octagon, I want to know what's your favorite memory, um, either growing up or recently with, with the Raiders. It was the winning in against the Chargers. So that season, I was fortunate enough to be one of the flag holders for the pre, for the pregame. Yeah. Um, and dude, just seeing the 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 feeling, the vibe, the electricity, the energy of Allegiant Stadium. Yeah. Being on that field before, I was like, dude, I can see like how these players can vibe off, like you know, like because. As a fighter, I do that. I, right. I can suck in the energy, re regardless if they're cheering for you or against you. That energy is there. And if it, and if it's there, it's there, and you can pull from it. Right. So I was just on the field thinking, like, dude, this is crazy. And then we went on. It was crazy game. We went on to win that game yeah. and, you know, playoffs. So I would say it, it's something that stands out for me. It, it would be it that. It would be that yeah. way. Up next. But you're about to show me some stuff. Let's Is that do what's it. going down? Let's okay, do let's it. do it. Yep, pass it. Ah, I pass it. Raiders Talk of the Nation is coming right back. This segment has been brought to you by Coors Light, an official beer of Raider Nation, made to chill. Raiders Talk of the Nation has been brought to you by Allegiant Air, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, non-stop flights. Book now only at Allegiant.com. Credit One Bank, the official credit card of the Raiders. Intermountain Healthcare, the official health partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Discover your inner champ at Raiders.com forward slash champ. Ah, ah, I pass it. Yep, pass it. Ah, I pass it. Okay. Okay. Nice. So one, two, three, roll. Three, two, roll. Pop, pop, pop. There we go. Okay, that sounded great. Now, question for you, because yep. I'm out of breath and I don't have my inhaler on me. You being in the octagon, yep. anytime you take on another the opponent. It is a long game, right? Uh -huh. I mean, obviously you want to get them quickly as you can. Yep. However, you want to hold your stamina together. Make sure you can last. The Raiders, long season ahead. Lots of changes happening, things moving around. How can we uh, stay that course? I think the key for the Raiders, honestly, 
it, it's a marathon, not a sprint. You know, we got a long season ahead of us. Uh, with fighting, the thing you got to really do is take care of your body. It's all about maintaining, you know, staying healthy, taking care of the body, the, the recovery. I think for me, it's really about staying mentally focused. It's a marathon, not a sprint, but we, we only have 15 minutes uh, to go out there and do what we need to do. But with everything going on, you're, you're in a fight, you know, yeah, at, at the yeah. end of the day, you're in a fight. Somebody's trying to take you out. So I think the best thing that you can do is to stay mentally focused, to stay mentally grounded when you're in the game, when emotions are high, when the game is on the line, you know, just just reset. I remember, focus on the techniques, the, the, the fundamentals. The, exactly, the, the, the game plan. Focus on the things that we worked on. And I don't think you can go wrong from there. Okay, well, listen, Max, this is your invite to get in here and get into the gym. We're ready to go. Yes, sir. Okay. Mad Max. Let's do it. <laughs>